Welcome back, everyone. This one's gonna be a sad one. We watched past lives and it was absolutely incredible. This is another A24 film, which if you've been following us for a while, we love A24. <laughs> we were cheering for everything everywhere the whole time during the Oscars. Everything everywhere, everything, everything everywhere, everywhere, everything everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> This film was written and directed by Celine Song, which is her debut film. And it's just how is that the first thing that you're going to do? Yeah, she really knocks it out of the park on her first try, which is honestly incredible. It's a breath of fresh air in a summer full of franchises. So if you haven't seen the film before, Past Lives is about two childhood friends reconnecting after over 20 years of on and off again friendship. It stars three people that I'm unfamiliar with, Greta Lee, Yu Teo and John Magaro, who do a phenomenal job with a solid script. Their performances are raw, it's real, it's relatable, really. It was such an interesting journey to take on this movie because it's a romance, but it's like a modern romance where a lot of these like rom-com films are, oh my gosh, he's gonna come in and sweep me off my feet, but this, this movie has a lot of tension. It's not even like sexual tension either. It's like romantic tension. It's like, will they, won't they? But it's in such a new way that is just so encapsulating. Like it's so good. This movie is very much a modern movie for modern audiences. I think it takes all the tropes of old romantic movies and puts them into society today with our technology and our social norms. And it puts a kind of a mirror to that, which we'll go into later. Yeah, and with that, the characters are very, very mature. These are very healthy relationships that we're seeing. There's healthy boundaries. There's even healthy like self-realization of where you are as a person in your relationship. The main character is already married by the time that she comes into contact, physical contact with her childhood boyfriend, so to speak. And there's there's just so much respect that is mutual among all three of these characters. And the story unfolds very organically as these characters uncover who they are and what they want. This movie starts off very creatively with us as the audience looking at the three main characters and over here another couple guess about who these characters are and their relationship with each other. We see two very friendly characters, Sung and Nora. Unknowingly, we see Nora's husband off to the side, Arthur. And that's how our story kind of opens up where we don't know the severity of the situation. And this is a great start because it kind of makes us all feel and relate with not only these characters, but the characters we're observing. Because we've all played that game where we're just looking at someone and trying to figure out what they're doing or making fun of them. But I think that it shows more so that you don't know what other people are going through. And a lot of us make assumptions or guess what's going on. Overall, the movie is quite minimalistic and I love that. It really reflects a lot into everyone's like everyday life. There's a lot of empty space. There's moments where there's no dialogue and the characters have unspoken moments between each other. For example, at the end, when we see Arthur and Sung sitting at the bar together, there's tension between them where you can tell that they are jealous of one another for being able to be the person in Nora's life at different points in time. There's also a lot of unspoken moments between Sung and Nora, but those moments are very beautiful. There's always really good lighting. There's happy people around them. There's always couples, couples that are in their own little bubbles that are passing them in the background. The movie always puts these little things in there to just make you understand exactly what you're supposed to feel in those moments. It's almost like they're teasing Nora and Sung, saying that everyone else around them is in love, but they can't do it. They really romanticize New York in their setting, but what they also do is they show a lot of reflection and water shots. They play around with lighting and reflections to show the sincerity of the situation. What this movie does very uniquely is that it starts off dramatic 
and ends dramatically, almost as if it's mirroring each other. The movie is essentially a palindrome. Overall, it's a movie that blends old traditions and new culture and explores love in a modern world. I think this is the number one movie of the year. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It is an emotional, not even roller coaster. It's just a ride. It's just, it's an experience and it's so beautifully done. It's really one of the most raw movies I've seen in a really long time. And I'm just blown away at this movie. I think this might be one of the best movies of the summer. And with an incredible list of more movies to come, I'm so excited to see what else the year has in store. Thank you as always for watching. Subscribe to us for more content like this and let us know what you thought about past lives or what movies you're looking forward to in 2023. I'll see you in another life. What if this was our past lives and we're actually in this moment together and you're meant to be on our channel as subscribing? Nice. <laughs> Want you to stay